Greetings everyone. Today we're going to talk about Smart Notebook Express. This is a new tool created by Smart that allows you to do three things. It allows you to open an existing file from a thumb drive or from your desktop. It allows you to create a new notebook file directly in your browser and it allows you to open files from Smart Exchange which we'll see momentarily. Let's begin by taking a look at the website express.smarttech.com. That's express.smarttech.com. And when you get to this page, you'll notice that it has a similar makeup to the actual notebook software. However, quite a few things are missing. So when you go to create a notebook file, you'll be very limited. But you can start here and finish on the actual notebook software on your computer. So if we want to open a notebook file, we'll just go to File, Open, and just navigate to where the file is saved. Select it, and then Open. Once the file opens, you'll notice that you can navigate through the file like you normally would. You can scroll through. You even have the two arrows down here that you can use just like you would on your smart board. If you want to move your toolbar up and down, you can do that as well. And notice that we only have two tabs on the side here. One of them is the page sorter, which we're in now, and then the other one is the attachments tab. And all you can do with this in the web version is access attachments that you already have to a file so because this file that I opened already has attachments then I can see those if I didn't have a file with attachments I can't add any it only shows the ones that are associated with the file that you create so that's the way you open that and then like I said you can go through this just like you would any other file and you can sh you should be able to access anything that you have in it notice here I have a little flash video or a flash tool so that pops up here and that's how you open a file using express.smarttech.com the next thing we'll do is we'll switch screens and we'll go to the smart exchange and then I'll show you how to open a file from there so once you go to smart exchange and you can get there by going to exchange.smarttech.com you will get to this page and you will need to create an account notice I'm signed in here you create an account and you can access any of the files that have been created by teachers to download, to modify, to use however you want. The only thing that you'll need to do is actually go through the files and make sure that it's something that you could use because these files are uploaded by anyone and they're not necessarily created by or graded by anyone. So you'll need to make sure it's something that you want. Now once you do find something you want, I'm just going to grab the first thing I see here you'll notice it comes to this page and this particular one does not have the bar that I'm looking for so I'll go back and see if I can find another one alright now in this one you notice that open in smart notebook express so some of the files that are uploaded to smart exchange will allow you to open them directly in smart notebook express while other ones won't as you saw with the last file that I tried to get now the difference is here I can just look through the file but I can't really access anything on the page anything interactive this just lets you see what it is so every file that you come across in smart exchange will let you browse through it but you won't be able to do anything with it so you can either download it and then run it or you can open up in smart notebook express and I'm gonna open that now in smart notebook express and now you can see the Jeopardy file that I was looking at and now I can go through the file as I was earlier with the first file and you can actually now make changes and modify things you can take a look at it and you can click on different things and you can edit so those are the three things that you can do now in terms of creating a new file like I said if you're gonna do that then you may want to just have a brief shell because notice that you don't have as, as many assets here in the Express software as you do with the full-blown software so here you just might start by creating slides maybe putting some color in them putting names things like that but you won't be able to add things to it like this um, template or add interactive features you'll have to do that within the main software so that's just a quick look at the smart notebook Express hopefully you'll find that as a useful tool